You don't often see timbers with such large cross-sections these days. They're here, awaiting pre-assembly into the massive framework of a collapsing stamper battery. The Lord Brassey battery is in the hills not far from Reefton, on the west coast of New Zealand's South Island. It's a 15 stamp array, and the wooden framework that held it up has all but rotted away, leaving the structure dangerously unstable. Prefabricating the framework will involve shaping these large cross-section timbers. Here, project manager Jim Staten is marking out the outline for one of the head blocks, with large radius curves at each end. Cutting and shaping these will be done with a combination of old techniques and some new machinery. Chain and electric saws make light work of the first processes. But hammer and chisel are as old as carpentry itself. Graham Richardson is a volunteer. Normally he works for the Heritage Tramways Trust at Ferrymead, just outside Christchurch. He's come over to acquire some experience working with large timbers. Dave Hawes works for Doc. The ads too dates back to the earliest days of carpentry. working to about a half a millimetre. You can just see I'm looking for these marks, Tom, up here, oh, really? which are telling me where you can see the down here creeping in, yeah. the high spots. So you can see from here that I've got a high spot up here, yeah. so cut down through there, eat into it slowly, and then thicken it out where it needs taken off. That's probably about between half and a one mil cut. And then down here you'll see the other lines there. We're just going to cut in through and cut that section mm -hmm. down there. So we'll cut in from where it's low out here. And then cut back through on the angle. Cross grain all the time with edging. So that you're cross graining it. And you reach it. Run it through. Only high spots up here. Cut it down again. I've adds the line through up here, so anything that shows inside of here mm -hmm. is high.
This is one of the bird's mouths where a brace will fit on one of the four king posts for the structure. Tricky work here as there's a large knot in the timber. I asked Dave where he acquired the skills to use such an old-fashioned tool so accurately. And the railways. New Zealand railways. Bridge beams. Once, all railway bridges were timber. But today, most have been replaced with steel or concrete. These bridges are on the west coastline running from Greymouth down to Hokitika. Dave couldn't resist the challenge of trying his skills on shaping the curve on another head block. Even trickier, the bevel on the rebated edge at the end of one of the curves. <laughs> 